Hey guys, hope you all enjoy on your great demand. Here is the bonus part. I'll also make one for a cold husband series. So stay tuned, you guys. Next morning, Lion woke up first as she has a habit to wake up first in the morning. As she woke up, she found her cute penny sleeping while hugging her. Wine's head was on his arm, other arm around her tiny waist, face resting on the pillow near Wine. Wine turned around and smiled more like blushed. She remembered every single detail of last night. How she boldly asked him and he made her go on the ninth clap. She scanned his eyes, nose, and then lips. She traced his lips with her fingertips, brushed her nose with his, and spoke. Your intimidating looks makes me shy, or maybe I'm weak for you. So weak that I can't explain the way you talk to me, brush your nose with me, hug me, and kiss me. Before going to the office, called me in between your busy schedule. No matter how tired you are, never forget to give me time and make me fluster. And the best thing is that you put my comfort first. I know I'm not that expressive, but you mean the world to me. It's your fault. You make me shy. But I love you, Mr. June. Your wine loves you and only you. You are my savior. You are my heart. This wine only belongs to you. Only you. She packed his lips and got out of his hole to freshen up. She got up with so much struggle and went to the bathroom. She was talking to sleeping Jungkook, but the thing, she didn't know that he was awake the whole time he was listening to her. As soon as he heard the door shutting sound, he opened his eyes. A huge smile crept on his lips. He loved her honey words that she told his so-called sleeping figure. Jungkook, you hold that that of me, John Wine. He spoke and rolled on the bed. He stayed in the bed until Wine came out of the bathroom while wearing a towel only. She was drying her hair. She does this every day because Wine wakes him up in the morning. He sleeps till late. Jungkook's eyes went wide, seeing the absolute hot move in front of him. Wine didn't notice that he was awake and absolutely drooling over her. She went straight to her dresser and started drying her hair with a towel. After doing that, she put the towel aside and started putting lotion on her long, sleek legs and arms. Her hair fell on her well-defined collarbone, making her look breathtaking. She went to the closet and wore Jungkook's shirt, which reached above her knees. She was looking so cute in his shirt. She looked at the clock, which struck 8 in the morning. She panicked and looked at Jungkook, who was in another world, being Jungkook. She called him a few times with no answer. She went near him and held his hand, to which he came out of his world and looked at her. Wine, what happened, Jungkook? N nothing. He immediately stood up. He was about to get down from his side, but seeing Wine standing there, he got down to the side. Wine, on the other hand, was confused. She shrugged it off and went to cook him breakfast. Dear Jungkook had a problem. He had been turned on this early in the morning. He doesn't want to tell Wine because he saw her limping and he doesn't want to make her uncomfortable. But the things are getting out of control. He took a cold shower to calm himself down, which helped a bit. But when he saw Wine, who was taking something out of the cabinet on her toes, her full legs were on display, only her was covered. But... The black lace was visible from the white shirt. Jungkook's coat shower went into vain. He sat on the dining table. Wine, oh, you here? I said breakfast. It's almost ready. Wine gave him coffee and quickly prepared the breakfast. Wine was serving him breakfast when he felt her hair brushing over his face and her hand on his arm, which was accidental but still made his situation worse. He took a sip of his hot coffee and burnt his tongue. Wine, ah, oh, Jungkook, what have you done? Why are you in such a rush? She spoke, giving him his banana milk. He stood up and went out without saying or having his breakfast. Wine felt a bit sad, but thought maybe he was trusted to his meeting. Wine ate her breakfast and continued with her usual routine. In the afternoon, it was already 12. She was on the couch watching K-drama when she thought about Jungkook. She was worried he didn't eat. An idea popped up and she decided to make lunch for him. She prepared lunch for him and got ready. She glanced at the clock, which struck one. She quickly put her lip balm and went to surprise him. Jungkook, on the other hand, was still in his little situation. He attended the meeting and is now trying to focus on his work, but couldn't a man entered.
man brought we caught a smith jungkook take him to the basement and interrogate him the man was taken aback because torturing was jungkook's favorite and now he was asking him to do that he didn't enter anything seeing him tense just left after bowing after some time the man who came earlier came and said man so he had spilled the tea jungkook noted man so are you okay jungkook y yeah perfectly fine jungkook spoke at the speed of light didn't want to get embarrassed in front of his own man man okay he stopped hearing some noises that they both ran to the where the noise was coming from they saw the man who was brought for interrogation sneaked out of the interrogation room and started threatening the other people he was covered in blood and had a knife in his hand jinkook's blood boiled after seeing that he was about to exit his territory when wine entered smith saw wine entering and jinkook coming closer he immediately grabbed wine and put the knife on her neck wine was unable to process everything was so quick Jungkook's heart sank at the bottom. Wine looked at him with fear. Her hand started shaking. Jungkook, Wine, Smith let her go and I let you go. Smith smit and started pressing his knife on her delicate skin. Wine whimpered when she felt the pressure. Jungkook's heart paced up. His anger boiled and he took his gun and made a hole in Smith's head at the very spot. Wine ran towards Jungkook when she felt his hold on her loosened she hugged him tightly clenching her fist on his back shivering jungkook shh it's all right baby i'm here don't worry it's all right he spoke caressing her back wine calmed down and tried to look back but jungkook didn't let her and dragged her to his office gesturing his man to clear the mess jungkook was a bit angry on her jungkook wine why did you come what if he does something to you wine i brought you lunch you didn't have bre your breakfast she spoke in a low voice, hanging her head low, where a few tears made their way out. Jungkook, he was dangerous. I can't even imagine what he would have did. Wine hugged him from behind, making him stop on his words and started sobbing. He turned around and covered her face. Jungkook, baby, I'm sorry for shouting at you. I just got too scared. He spoke and hugged her where she did the same and snuggled in his neck. But this movement made Jungkook go insane. Her lips brushed against his skin. He started sweating and broke the hug. Wine made a cute bout and again hugged him. This time even tighter. Jungkook tried to control but couldn't and smashed his lips on her. Wine was taken aback first, but then she also kissed him back. The kiss became rougher, and Jungkook started pushing Wine. She started backing up. She hit the table. Jungkook laid on the table, grabbing her tightly. They were lost until the door opened. His hang slash his business partner entered. Wine pushed Jungkook, and he broke the kiss and looked over. Wine was completely red like a tomato. She had her face in his neck, to which he chuckled. His eye was watching them blankly with his wide eyes jungkook yes hi jimin no nothing i think it's the wrong timing jungkook yeah hi wine became more red she looked over when she heard the door opening and closing she looked at jungkook and hit his chest playfully yeah how would i face him now she whined jungkook leave him and face the consequences now wine oh jungkook looked down wine followed his gaze and her eyes widened a shiver ran down her spine she bit her bottom lip she looked up at him and saw him smirking. He smashed his lips on hers again and started devouring her. Remembering something, she pushed his chest lightly, making him break the kiss and spoke. Wine, it's your office, Jungkook, so. Wine, it's your... He shushed her, placing his index on her lips. He went to his bookshelf and pulled a book and opened a door. Wine was stunned. He dragged her there and there was a bed with a nice view of city it was the rainy season so the weather was adding fuel to the already heated moment he came near her ear and whispered huskily no one will interrupt us from now onwards he winked at her making her a blushing mess he pushed her on the bed making her gasp before she could speak he hovered over her for that instagram link is in the description catching their breaths both breathed heavily Jungkook, you should do that more often. I loved it. Wine blushed, causing Jungkook to chuckle. They stayed in bed for a while. Both then both had their lunch. They watched the sunset, and Wine fell asleep in his arms. He carried her to, and took her to their house. He made her comfortable in their bed. Jungkook caressed her ear and went to the bathroom to freshen up. Three weeks passed by. Both were enjoying their life. When Wine became a bit bold and tried to be the dom, but he always failed miserably over his effect on her. One day she was having breakfast with Jungkook. Both were talking.
Jungkook. I have an important meeting today. He spoke while sipping his coffee. Maid put wine's favorite pancakes and she made a disgusting face, holding her nose. Wine, yeah, why does it stink? Jungkook took her plate and sniffed it. Jungkook, no, it doesn't stink at all. He placed the plate in front of her and extended her hands before he placed the plate in front of her. Wine, the smell is making me throw up. Jungkook, no, it's fine, baby wine. No, Jungkook, he spoke in an annoyed, angry tone. He placed the plate on the other side. Wine, no, tell them to take it away. Jungkook asked me to take it away. Jungkook, what do you want to eat then? Wine, tacos. Jungkook, this early? Wine gave him puppy eyes. Jungkook, okay, okay. Jungkook asked me to make tacos for her. They brought the tacos. Jungkook always feeds wine breakfast, then he goes to office. He was studying his file when her tacos came. She was enjoying it while dancing, sitting on the chair. Jungkook just chuckled. Wine, orange juice. Jungkook, huh? Wine, I want orange juice. He asked my maids to bring orange juice for his queen. Wine drank it and made a satisfied face, earning a chuckle. Jungkook kissed her forehead and went to his office. He attended his meeting. It felt great. He cracked the deal. He went home early and saw something unexpected. He saw wine sitting on the dining. Lots of different types of dishes are placed in front of her and she is having a mad pat on her face. Wine, ugh, that's not it. Our maids were standing, tired. Jungkook, what's all this? Maids looked at Jungkook with a pleading face. Wine was having an angry pout on her face. Jungkook, baby, he asked politely and Wine busted out on him. I want something amazing, but they are not giving it to me and making excuse that I didn't explain correctly what I want. I want something mind-blowing, she fake cried. Junk patted her head and looked at the multiple dishes on the table and then to the maids. A maid came there. Wine was hanging her head low. And that's when the maid spoke. Ma'am, try this. Wine looked up and took the jar. She picked a piece and bite on it. Her eyes wide open and a huge smile placed on her lips. She started eating and eating it and went out of there while swinging her hips. Everyone gave the ma maid a depletive look. Everyone, including Jungkook, looked at her, and Jungkook raised his eyebrow, asking for an explanation. Maid laughed nervously and spoke. It's pickles, just one of my pregnancy cravings, and I shared it with her. Jungkook and everyone nodded, but soon shooted their head to her. Jungkook looked amused. Maids, wait, what? Jungkook rushed to the room and called his doctor. The doctor came and checked Wine and confirmed that Wine was expecting. Jungkook was being what happened. Jungkook, thank you, baby. You made me the happiest. Wine gave him a confused look. He didn't tell her yet. Jungkook, you are pregnant, baby. Wine put her hands over her mouth and started tearing up. She quickly hugged Jungkook. Wine started sobbing. Jungkook became serious and tense. Jungkook, hey, baby, why are you crying? You don't want this baby? Wine hit his chest and spoke. I get emotional, she said in a crying voice. Jungkook again hugged her. Well, it was just the beginning because Wine's mood swings and cravings were not a joke. She became a hulk when she didn't get her cravings. Thanks to that maid who used to get the same cravings as Wine. Wine gets emotional when she watches emotional scenes and gets needy when she watches some romantic scenes. Jungkook faced a rough time handling her but he made it. It was Wine's ninth month. She was eating some tacos, which were resting on her huge baby bump while resting her back on the couch and legs over Jungkook. Jungkook was massaging her feet because they were swollen due to pregnancy. Jungkook got a call, so he went on a distance to pick it up. She was enjoying the K-drama when all of a sudden a pain struck her. She whimpered and took it as a fake alarm and continued what she was doing. Another painful contraction struck her. She held her baby bum and soon after another getting stronger every time. She tried to adjust and the plate slipped and fell. Due to the plate cracking sound, Jungkook looked back and saw Wine closing her eyes while holding her baby bum. She was breathing heavily. He immediately cut the call and went to her. Jungkook, Wine, baby? Wine, ah, Jungkook, it hurts a lot. Jungkook, what should I do? Wine, take me to the hospital, idiot. Jungkook picked her and took her to the hospital. Wine was screaming the whole time due to the extreme contractions and her water broke in the middle. She was 7 centimeters dilated as per the doctor. When she reached 10 centimeters, she started pushing. She screamed. Wine, I'm never getting pregnant again. Ah! She was holding Jungkook's hand, which was pleading to get freed. 
due to her tight grip on it. Jacob, what about the football team? You promised me. Mine. Shut up, she screamed. Doctor, last push, Mrs. Dion. Mine, I can't. Doctor, you have to. Mine, I can't, I can't. She spoke, crying out of pain. Jungkook, baby, last push left. Do it for us, for the baby. Mine listened to him and pushed again, giving her all. And there they heard a cry of the little one. Mine smiled out of happiness despite the pain she was still experiencing. Jungkook smiled, a tear dropped from her his eyes, witnessing his first child coming into the world. Doctor, congratulations, it's a girl, one cried due to happiness, and the doctor placed her on her chest to make her feel her mother's warmth. Wine was crying out of happiness, holding her little one. Jenko caressed her hair and spoke. You made it, love, you made it. Thank you so much. When got shifted to a private room, she was holding her little one. She was caressing her little soft cheeks. She opened her eyes and smiled. Wine and Jungkook also smiled. Jungkook, Jion, Hana, Wine. Beautiful, just like her. Jungkook, thank you, love. Wine, thank you for taking care of me. I know I troubled you a lot. Jungkook, well, yeah. Wine hit his chest and both laughed, looking at the little one. A tale of love with a happy ending starting from nothing to each other's everything. Bye, see you next time.